Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here today, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you decide to stick around for the entirety of the video or at least look at the screenshots or something. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for stopping by yet again for another speed build. So I believe what I'm gonna call this build is a light and airy apartment. We are building in, what is the name of this? 17 Culpepper House, I'm almost certain. I believe this is medium wall height, which I don't typically mess with, or at least I personally don't like building with medium, and especially not tall walls. But to kind of get past that, with there being so much extra space on the walls, I like to use platforms and I've become a lot more comfortable over the last couple of weeks honestly with platforms and how to kind of work around them and different like issues I have with them I suppose. So I'm more of a platforms person now. I can get behind it a little bit more especially in builds like these apartments where I can't control how how how, how tall. I was going to say how tall and how high the walls are but I just combine it into one word. But it's just like an easier way to make the walls not seem so tall. I hope you know what I mean. But yeah, this is going to be a light and airy apartment. I use lots of neutral colors here, I would say, and lots of light colors. So some whites, some creams. I believe green is like my pop of color in most of the rooms. So I also wanted to tell you that I believe that this room, or the, sorry, this apartment would be best for a single mom and two toddlers. The toddlers could be twins or they could just be really close in age. I honestly was thinking it would be kind of fun if the mom had a toddler and then adopted another toddler because she couldn't have any more children or she decided not to have any more children for whatever reason. I don't really know why she's single. Maybe she fell on hard times somewhere along the lines with the toddler's other parent or I don't know. I really didn't think about it too much other than I thought it would be nice for a single mom and two toddlers to be living in this home. So I do clutter up the build just a tad bit with some toys that kind of work their way into the living room a little bit, but overall nothing too crazy. It's still a very clean, very sleek build, I suppose. And here is where I'm making the platform. Just I just bring basically almost the entire apartment up one level and then the kitchen and the entryway are all like ground level essentially. But yeah, I think the green is the pop of color mainly in like this obviously like main area with the living room. And then in the mom's bedroom, the pop of color is like a light pink. I believe I used that armchair from Cottage Living in there. It's just like a really pretty, almost like a baby pink. And then in the toddler's room, I believe the pop of color in there is pink as well, but there are some greens. So I guess in the toddler's room, it's almost like the mom's bedroom pop of color and then the main living space pop of color kind of come together but I feel like with toddlers bedrooms I mean of course there's times where I'll like make it more themed and stuff but I just felt like and just in general I feel this way not just in this build that toddler rooms and even kids rooms you can kind of like have all sorts of colors nothing too crazy unless that's what you're going for but I think even though I use a few different colors in there the room is still very neutral and still very um, tone it down like it's not all over the place or crazy like I feel like everything is kind of within the same color palette when it comes to like vibrance so I think it worked out really well but here I'm just starting to clutter up the build with of course plants if you couldn't have guessed I had a build that was ready to go up this week but I actually pushed it back and then I pushed it back one more time to release this video instead so I believe next week if I'm not mistaken I am going to be uploading a cottage build and that was all before the blooming rooms kit came out so there's no there's not going to be any blooming rooms kit items in that build but it is still a very cute build I've just been pushing it back because I've been so inspired to build and use the new items from the brand new kit and it's inspired me to use other kits like I've been using a ton of industrial loft items recently which I hadn't even really touched to be quite honest with you I knew that I liked the items in there but I never really like done anything with them like not even on my own time like not like nothing so I just have this crazy inspiration flowing through me right now so I've been pushing that build back just to like do these other fun like blooming rooms kit builds and 
I've personally been having so much fun. Everyone in the Sims 4 community and just like I guess I could say the Sims community is so creative. It is insane. I've been watching so many speed builds recently and you'd think that with all of the items that we got, I want to say we got 24 items and of course that is a lot and a lot of the plants that came in that kit are extremely versatile and stuff, but I just feel like they go well with so many different things. So I've seen so many different ideas that people have had in different ways that people put together their builds, whether it's a small home or it's like an off the grid home or it's like an apartment like this, like you can, you could just be so creative. And so I've just been super, super inspired recently. This is one of the first times in a while that we've gotten, you know, new content and I've just been soaking it up and I've been so so happy with it and my brain has been so happy like I'm literally so ahead of the game with all of my builds that are coming up so I'm just in a very happy place when it comes to the sims right now but let's get back to the build now with that being said so like I said I felt that of course this is a single mom she's got these two toddlers that are living here and the room is just, their room is super cute. I think I did it already or maybe I didn't, but like I said earlier, I do clutter up the coffee table just a bit with a few toys. Of course, those will end up in either your Sims inventory or into the toy box, but felt it was cute for screenshots and it just makes it seem more realistic. Um, I have friends and family that have kids and babies that are turning into toddlers and this is like what their places look like, you know? It doesn't have to be a mess, but I feel like it's just more realistic to show some sort of young life <laughs> in your place. So even though this mom does have two toddlers and this toddler bedroom is kind of a weird shape, we made it work and they have plenty of toys in here. It's still nice to have everyone kind of be in the same area once, you know, maybe this mom enjoys cooking or doing some work at like her dining table with her laptop and like the twins. Why, why do I say twins? I'm. It's because they're like the same age, but the toddlers can play out in the living room or watch TV or they could take naps out there, like whatever the situation may be. It just kind of shows that their toys don't have to just stay in their room. Like they can bring the creativity and the fun out into the living room and all be together and be social that way. So that's kind of what I was going for. And originally I wasn't sure if I wanted this to be like a plant mom build, but I feel like I've been seeing so many plant mom builds builds recently, which of course there's nothing wrong with that, but I kind of wanted to make the play on like she's a plant mom, but she is literally just a mom that likes plants, but I feel like plant mom makes it seem like almost like she doesn't have kids and like she's a mom to her plants. I hope that makes sense. So I was thinking about it, but I think that I'm literally just going to make this a single mom build and just yeah kind of go from there but now that we're into the mother's bedroom I did want to mention that when I was taking screenshots here there was just something about this wall that we're working on right now where the plant and the dresser and that chair are where I just had an issue looking at it I was like this isn't working for me and I remember when I was building it too I was like this is just like an awkward wall and it's so funny because it's like I could have easily made it easier on myself by just moving the dresser to the middle of the wall and then having the plan on one side and the chair on the other side and for whatever reason that literally didn't even cross my mind when I was building here and it doesn't make it onto the or into the actual speed build but you will see in the screenshots i did in fact end up moving the dresser to the middle so then i can't remember like what side the plant what side the chair is on but then the plant and the chair are on either side of the dresser and then i end up having a hamper over here it's not a functioning hamper it's just the one from base game and I stack some towels on top of it, I end up moving that over to where the console table is that ends up being right here. So you'll see in the screenshots, this room does end up looking a little bit different and I think I switch out the curtains as well. But other than that, I'm pretty sure everything else in the build is exactly how you see it, except when it's gonna be uploaded to the gallery for you guys, there's not gonna be the platforms enabled because if you didn't already know, the platforms make it a separate room and in order to upload an apartment for you guys, I have to upload it as a room. So that's the only thing, but you can always screenshot the screenshot and be able to recreate the platform yourself. It's very simple. It's just one 
tile raised up and then you'd be good to go. So with that being said, if you do want to download this or follow me over on the gallery, may as well, right? <laughs> My EA ID is Ashley Angelina with two Y's and two A's at the end of Angelina. And you can follow me over on Instagram as well. I always post screenshots over there. I don't post every single screenshot. Like sometimes I'll just not include like one angle in the bathroom if it's like a teeny tiny bathroom and the screenshot is just not that appealing it's more for like my video purposes but over there i post i try to be pretty consistent over there i'll usually break up my screenshots into like one or two posts and i do like a carousel of pictures but over there my name is the same as on the gallery ashley angelina with two y's and two a's at the end of angelina and if you want to follow me over on twitter i'm getting better about posting on there more often just to kind of like update on like my posts and just i mean honestly it's the same stuff that i post on instagram i really don't like repost many things on there or like retweet things on there but my name is ashley angelina with two y's and one a at the end of angelina but anyway let's get back into the build because i feel like we really haven't talked about it too much i feel like all we talked about was like the color scheme so i'm cluttering up the bathroom a little bit here again obviously this household does consist of two toddlers so i feel like and a single mom so i feel like with that being said this mom is very busy she kind of needs things to be easily accessible and so i did clutter up the bathroom a little bit but i felt like it's nothing too crazy like it's not messy or anything everything's very organized has a place on its shelf and occasionally I do like to clutter up the top of a toilet with just like one item. Like usually I'll put candles. This is the first time I've actually ever placed these. I think these are like the body essentials or something like that. It's just from like the clutter um, portion of the menu. But I figured that that would go well there because it's very realistic. I have stuff on the back of my toilet. Mine is just like matches and like a rediffuser and some tissues. But like still it's more realistic that way and i do like to make my builds look very realistic and just cute for screenshots and i don't know they personally make them more fun to play in i don't know you guys can let me know in the comments below but if you guys did download the blooming rooms kit let me know what's your favorite plant i think my favorite plants i have a few it's really hard to pick but the tea canisters that are right here on screen that are like on the little shelf in the window i think that's one of my favorites the jade plant is really cool because i personally have a jade plant and it's beautiful and then the hanging plant that looks like almost like eucalyptus it's not but it kind of looks like it could be those are my favorites so let me know in the comments below what your favorite items are and we are coming up on the screenshot so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you did decide to or i hope you did enjoy today's video and uh hit that subscribe button hit that follow button over on instagram and on the ea gallery and i hope to see you guys in a future build bye